Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today's video will be on all the New Year's Six Bowl predictions. Go check out Saul's Williams videos. He's doing this with us, and we're going to see which predictions we pick right and which ones we disagree on. So let's get right into it. We're going to do with the Michigan State versus Pitt game. So, I mean, losing Kenny Pickett opting out is a big factor, but Kenneth Walker also opted out of this game. So I say it's going to come down to the secondary of Michigan State, which is one of the worst secondaries in the FBS this season. So I'm going to have to say Pitt wins this game over the secondary. I think, I think they're going to win 38-31 to 31 in this game. Notre Dame versus Oklahoma State. Oklahoma State's amazing defense versus Kyron Williams will be in a pretty interesting matchup. I didn't think Oklahoma State was one of the best defenses in the Pac-12, Big 12. It was the best defense in the Big 12 um, behind Baylor. Well, no, in front of Baylor. Baylor was right behind them. It could have been swapped out between them two. I feel like Kyron Williams will win this um, battle. The offensive line of Notre Dame is better than the defensive line of Oklahoma State. And they're going to create penetration, and Kyron Williams will be able to run on this team. The next game I have up is Ohio State versus Utah. This one I'm not really going to go into depth in because I honestly feel like it's not even going to be close the whole game. I think C.J. Stroud and Trayvon Henderson will easily dominate this game in terms of throwing the ball down the field, which is something Utah cannot do. They don't have any threats like Jackson Smith and Jigba. Tra uh, Trayvon Henderson in the backfield better than any of Utah running back. Uh, Jack Smith and Jigmo, Garrett Wilson, Chris Olave. The receiving core goes on and on and on. One of the best in the league, definitely. So that's why I'm going to have to pick Ohio State 42-24. to It's not going to be close at all the whole game. They're going to start giving up at the end. That's why Utah's going to score 24 points. They're not going to be able to do anything on this Ohio State dominant defense. Well, Ohio State's defense has gotten better. It's not dominant quite yet. Now, now we have Baylor and Ole Miss. Uh, I mean... Honestly, this will be the Ole Miss quarterback versus Jalen Petrie. They're going to try to throw the ball away from Jalen Petrie. Petrie. He's the safety All-American team, um, Big 12 player, Big 12 defensive player of the year. It'll be an intense matchup to see. And I honestly don't really like know who's going to start for Baylor, but I feel like Baylor will win either way. Jalen Petrie. Jalen Petrie will get an interception in this game, I think. And whoever starts Gary Bohannon or Blake Shapin, I feel like they both will win it, whoever starts. And I think Gary Bohannon will start. He's the guy who led he, who led the Oklahoma upset. But Blake Shapin completed his first 17 passes in the upset versus Oklahoma State in the Big 12 championship. So, I mean, I'm going to see where we're at at that. Uh, now we're going to Alabama Cincinnati, the college football playoff, the Goodyear Cotton Bowl Classic. Is Bryce Young the Heisman versus the second one of the best secondaries in the FBS NCAA, NCAA um, number four versus number one? Cincinnati Kobe Bryant and Ohama Gardner are two of the best corners in college football this year, and I totally expect them to play as good as they can and lock down Jamison Williams and. They don't have John Mechie. That's one of the weapons. That's out. No John Mechie in this game. That is a huge weapon that they don't have. So, Ahama Garner and Kobe Bryant are going to have only one guy to actually look out for. I mean, Slade Bolden's pretty good, and JoJo Earl. Um, all those guys, Jaleel Billingsley, Latu's good. But I just don't think it's enough. I got Alabama 31-20. Alabama's just too good. All right, now on to the game of the whole entire college football playoff semifinal. The game that we'll probably never see again. My favorite one that I'm looking forward to is Michigan versus Georgia. It's going to come down to the run game of Michigan versus Georgia's defense and Georgia's struggling pass game versus Michigan's secondary. I say Stanton Bennett will throw two interceptions in this game. And there's no run game for Georgia in this game either. Two interceptions, no run game for Georgia. I got Michigan winning 24-20. Hassan Haskins, Blake Corm, they're too good. And Cade McNamara is better than Stenson Bennett. Cade McNamara is a better quarterback. And Michigan has a better run game. The defenses are literally just the same in my opinion. I mean, best best defense of the SEC, but not the best defense of the Big Ten. But they can defend the run. Michigan can. Georgia can, but you saw what Alabama did against them. All you got to do is do what Alabama did. They're going to take that, and I feel like Michigan will win 24-20. All right, I hope you enjoyed my prediction, guys. I couldn't do all those in one day because there will be more videos coming up about Penn State coming in. I got my Saquon Barkley jersey on, my Penn State chain. Um, 
yeah, I'm going to do a lot of videos about them coming to the offseason and into the Outback Bowl. A lot of people doubt them, and I'm a Penn State fan. A lot of people do doubt Penn State, but I'm going to be showing you all that they are actually a really good team, and they have a they have a chance next year. So that's going to be the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit the like button, subscribe. Go to Sauce Williams' channel. He's going to be doing this, and y'all y'all see if the comments are on, y'all comment who's his be whose list is better, my list or Sauce's list, and we'll see y'all in the next one.